Don't ever say you can't do anything and your dreams can't come true. Because for our next guest, well, she may have said that at one time. Oh, I don't know if it's going to happen. But you know what? It is happening for her right now. She's a local playwright, and one of her plays is about to be put into production for you to see on a stage here in Hampton Roads. Joanne McPherson is the uh, playwright of a great production called Some Were Called and Some Just Came, and Caleb Kinchlow, is that correct? Kinchlow. Kinchlow. Okay, yes. I want to make sure I uh, get it right. He is the uh, director, and it's great to have you guys here. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Now, is this the first time one of your plays is actually going to be put into a production? Yes, it is. How do you feel time. about that? I feel very great, very good about it. Very you've written excited. some plays before. I've written them, but I've never brought them forth until now. And so mm -hmm. what is it about this particular play that you said, you know what, people should see this? Basically, a lot of my plays are written from things that I saw in life, and I basically have seen a lot of this, and this has shown me that if I bring it forth, letting people know that is not what you were, that, do what you were called for. Okay, well, what is it, what is it about? Basically, it's about two pastors, and one was called, and one just came, as the play, you know, as it says, and um, one pastor is, um, his father really called him for the play, for the, I'm sorry. No, no, for, no that's okay, to, it's to exciting, pastor, I know. Right. Right. His father called him to pastor the the church uh -huh. when it was another pastor there who was an assistant pastor who God called and this place shows that if you come when God calls you to what you were called for beautiful things can happen. I can tell just by looking at you you are so thrilled to be able to to come on TV and, and tell people about this work that you created. Yeah. Congratulations. Yes, so she's you. a little excited here, <laughs> a little yes. jittery. You, you, you can understand because it's not every day when you have mm. something that you write be performed. Right. And so the pressure is on now you, sir, mm -hmm. because you're the director of the play. Wow. And so how do you guys work together as director and author, playwright? Well, how does that dynamic work? Well, it really is about taking her vision and with the overall theme of the play, which is about calling and purpose. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful thing for me with art is that art acts like a, a mirror, reflecting the ideas, the cultures, and the fears of the general society. So hopefully with this show, we're trying to take those fears of what is your calling and purpose and reflect that back to the audience to help them give a better understanding about what they should do in life. Wow. Kind of um, make us visualize the play and, and the production. What, what can we expect to see? Oh, uh, well, we have... A lot of great talent on the show. Uh, we have Linda Holly doing uh, some original scoring for it. So expect to see a lot of great storytelling, a lot of great music, and expect to be really challenged, you know, with yourself about what you're doing. Huh. Yeah. Okay, you can't throw that out there without explaining that one. <laughs> what, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, a lot of times uh, with the show, it's like people do things just because they can do it. Uh -huh. and, and they can do it well, you know, which is, which is good. Sure. But sometimes that's not necessarily what you're called to do. You know, with, with Joanne's vision, like she said, if you do things that you're actually called to do, then it's like your, your life is a little bit more fulfilled and, and more joyous. You just feel complete huh. in, who, in who you are. So this is actually going to make us think. Yes. You know, I believe all art should do that. That's the best art. When you yeah, really it is. It, it is. Even the football that you like to watch on Sunday. <laughs> it's still art. It's still art. And it makes you think, you know. Well, sometimes <laughs> the way my favorite team plays, I wouldn't call that art. <laughs> <laughs> it's abstract, though. It's abstract. <laughs> Let's not talk about that, though. Hopefully they will be playing this fall, but that's a whole other topic. <laughs> um, so how did you guys find each other? Uh, we go to the same church. I'm plug in for my church. We go to Kingdom First. Um, our services are held at the Kempsville um, Rec Center in uh -huh. Virginia Beach. We have two wonderful pastors, Pastor um, Mark Lawrence and Dr. Don Lawrence. And we met there. I, in the beginning of the service, a lot of times we'll show work that he has done and produced. And I saw that. And I, he's the one <laughs> once I saw because his work is beautiful, what I've seen. And he's the one. I went to him. and. We talked about it. I gave him the script. He looked over it and he said, okay, let's go for it. Look at this. What a great story. Mm -hmm. And so you said, okay, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah. How much work does it take? You know, putting together any type of show is a lot of work. I mean, everything from even just marketing, from really taking the story and going over the script and kind of what are the main points, the main themes you're really trying to express from this scene? What is the scene really saying? What is the character really saying? Mm -hmm. And taking her vision and translating that to a stage and trying to translate that to the actors, it's, it's just a... And do you ever take it back to her and, and say, okay, this is what we have, and then well, you, you know, might say, ooh, I don't know if that, that, that's not what I intended, or... Well, you know, what's interesting about the show is she's actually in the show. 
You know, she oh. plays one of the characters. Um, so she's, she's constantly there. And, and of course, you have to. You have to take it back to the writer because it really is her vision. You know, but Why she trusts me enough to acting? Really You're like do it. Woody Allen. <laughs> 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 if you guys get discovered, we want 10% here at 13 News. Yeah, fine, that's great. <laughs> that's, you know what, good for you. And I, and I hope a lot of you at home can go on out and, uh, and check it out. This is a dream come true for Joanne. And it's a. Uh, Good for you. Okay. Some were called and some just came at the Chrysler Museum uh, June 25th at 7 p.m. Uh, you can see the ticket prices there. Advanced tickets, $15.25 at the door. Call 450-6450 for more information. Look at that. They're on Facebook. Find them at Facebook.com at some were called and some just came. Anything to get the word out, right? You have to, yeah. All right. So what do you two want to do when you grow up? When you grow up. Go into more plays. Movies. I'd like to go to mo go to a movie from from here. All right, mm -hmm. and go uh, Steven Spielberg. What do you want to do? Yeah, I'm, I'd like to do some more some more films as well, and even more plays. I mean, just art in general. I love it. Oh, All good luck. Good luck, and good hopefully good. Good. it goes really really well for you. Mm -hmm. This is just the beginning of good things to come. Mm -hmm. 13 News Dialogue continues for you right after this.